Okay, this is part two. Um, they took, took like, had to keep putting the monitors back on me. And then, um, so I went to the rocking chair after a little while. Sorry, this is all over the place. It's been like two months and I can't really remember anything about that night. Um, so I went to the rocking chair and I was rocking and like my mom was in there with me and my fiance and my stepmom. And then I was like, oh my gosh, like I really have to go poop. Like, I just felt, like, an intense pressure. And then the nurse was like, oh, my God, that's so good. And I was like, oh, that is not good. Can I go? And she's like, okay, well, we're going to check you. So then she checked me. And I was, like, five centimeters dilated. And she was, like, and this was, like, a, probably not even until, like, three in the morning. And then she was like, are you having pain? And I was like, yes, I'm having pain. And I want to sleep. You don't have to push pretty soon. And then she's like, okay, I'm going to give you um, Demerol, like, through your IV. And I was like, oh, that sounds good. And she gave it to me, and, oh, uh, that was, like, the best drug ever. Like, uh, I just felt so sleepy. My fiancé was talking to me, and I was like, I was just falling asleep. <laughs> and he started laughing at me, but it was, like, the only thing that, like, helped me. But it didn't last long, like, an hour, and I, and I couldn't even sleep. And then... Um, a little while later, I was having, like, really bad contractions. Probably, like, it was not even a little while later. It was, like, around 12. I was having, like, re really bad contractions. And then she was like, do you want the epidural yet? And I was like, no, not yet. I'm, like, I can, like, handle it for now. And then, like, the doctor came in, and he was, like, telling me hi, blah, 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 blah. And then he was like okay, lunchtime is at 1, and we're going to have this baby out before then, and I started, like, I was, like, what the hell, and everybody was laughing, and I was, like, dude, you're not even funny, <laughs> like, I was just, like, shut up, and then, um, a little while later, oh, gosh, I was, like, dying, like, dying, like, around 1, probably, like, around 1, I was dying, and the nurse was, like, okay, let me check you, and she was, like, do you want your epidural, and I told her, oh, yes, I want it now, and then she's like, okay, let me check you first. And then she checked me and she was like, nope, you're already too far. No epidural for you. And I was like, no. And I almost felt like crying, but I didn't cry, like, at all. Like, the whole labor, like, nothing. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm freaking dying. And the whole time my fiance is, like, updating his Facebook. And, like, the whole time I'm in, in labor, like, every change of position, every contraction, he's, like, updating. And then she's like, okay, we're going to do some practice pushes. So, like, I was sick, like, I had a cold, so I couldn't really breathe, like, as it was, so it was, like, to hold my breath was horrible, and she was, like, okay, some practice pushes, so I'm, like, you know, started practicing, and she, like, she, like, stuck her fingers, you know, and then she was, like, okay, push my fingers out, push them out, and then I was, like, pushing and pushing, and so, like, the baby's head was, like, right there, and they're, like, oh, we can see he has so much hair. And my fiancé was like, oh, baby, he looks so cute. And I was like, dude, he's not even out yet. <laughs> and, then, and then, um, he was, like, right there by my side, like, the whole time. He never left my side. Like, he wanted to nap, so he brought, like, the chair over to my side so he could hold my hand. And, um, and then, like, a little while later, she was like, okay, stop pushing. And I was like, what? You can't tell me to stop push because when you're when you're about to have your baby that pushing feeling is like crazy you know you have to push you have to and she's like okay stop i was like uh no she's like well you can like push a little bit like for each contraction like just to help yourself because it does feel like so much better when you're pushing and then she was like okay well um you could push a little bit but they can't help you out and i was like okay whatever that's fine oh my gosh my laptop's almost dying and then she was like so then, like, after, like, a little while later, like, around 1.20, the doctor came in, and he was getting ready, and then it was, like, 1.30 something, and they're like, okay, time to start pushing, so I started pushing, and, like, I pushed for, like, 15 minutes, I think, well, like, yeah, around 15 minutes, and then my baby was born at 1.42 p.m., and they put him, like, on my chest, and he was, like, the love of my life. Like, I fell in love with him so fast, but he wasn't breathing at first, and we were, like, all really scared because he was preemie. And then, like, 
um, they were like patting him down and stuff and then he started breathing and then like he was crying but then they put him on me and he stopped crying and he was just looking at me and I was like oh my baby my baby and my fiance like I looked at him and he like he was almost crying and um and then um they took him like away from me like so they could like help like clean me up you know and then clean him up and I like tore but just like a little tear like to the side um the doctor said I didn't really need stitches but it would help me heal faster so he was just gonna do it anyways um and then um they like had him cleaned up and everything and they're like they gave me like some skin to skin time for like I don't know maybe like half an hour and then they took him like under the, the like the warming light because his um what you call it <laughs> his body temperature was like a little cold um and then after that they, they wrapped him up in some warm blankets and then they're like okay he wants to be the first to hold him and I was like his daddy so then his dad was holding him and he was like He's so cute he was like almost gonna start crying it was so sweet and then um like I don't know and then we just like chilled the rest of the night and I, I finally got food because I hadn't eaten since like early in the morning on the 17th and it was already like in the afternoon on the 18th and I was freaking starving and they wouldn't give me food because they said I was going to throw up they gave me like freaking jello and I was like that's not food but the nurse brought me in some like lasagna and salad and apple juice so delicious and then um, I was probably just really hungry but it was really good and um uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then we went like uh, we stayed there until like 11 p.m. and then we got moved up to like the maternity ward. But yeah, it was overall pretty good experience. Even though I didn't get the drug that I wanted, like it didn't really burn. Like it burned, but I mean labor wasn't that that bad. Like people say it was, I wasn't like screaming at people and like yelling at them and telling them I hated them and look what you did to me and like how it is in movies, I was not like that, I was just like, oh my gosh, this sucks and I was like, mm -hmm. like through the contractions, I just breathe and I was fine, but next time I have a baby, which won't be for like a couple years, I'm definitely gonna get that epidural. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. If you have more questions, let me know. I'm going to do, like, a breastfeeding quick video right now in a little while. Um, if my little man doesn't wake up. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Bye.